Hey guys, welcome and thank you for joining me. As you can tell by today's video, we're talking about Battle of the Blow Dryer Brushes, which are the Revlon One Step Volumizer and Blow Dryer versus the new Dry Bar Double Shot. So I've never used this. This is actually a first impressions video for you guys as well. So I sit there and I compare the two. I do sit there, I blow dry my hair and compare the two for you. I've used the Revlon One Step Volumizer for a very long time, so if you guys have missed my review and my tutorial on that, I'm going to link that for you guys right here. I'm very excited about this first impression because I have never actually had something to compare the Revlon to, so this is really exciting. The difference between the two, two major differences are the price comparison along with the bristles and what they're made of. So the bristles on the Revlon One Step Volumizer is actually made of boar hair, which is what convinced me to try the new dry bar one. One of my clients doesn't use anything with boar hair, so I decided, you know what, let me do a comparison video and kind of test the two out. For those of you just joining, welcome. My name is Mona, and on my page we talk about beauty, lifestyle, and bridal, and today's video is an exciting one. So if you wanna see my opinion and my preference between the two, Let's get started. Guys, my hair is already wet and washed and ready to go. I've already prepped it with my Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray. I love this stuff by Amika. I used it from roots to ends and combed it through. As you guys can see, my hair is already super, super damp. I haven't opened this yet. You guys can see it's still kind of in its packaging. It also has the safety on it. I just took it out of the box. Just from first impression, what I'm seeing the difference is in the two brushes. Don't mind the hair in this one. Um, I just used this the other day. So this brush, the Revlon One Step Volumizer, it's much wider and it has more vents. So you can see the vents in this brush itself go from left to right. So they're horizontal vents and they go all the way through. This is more of an oval, very wide oval brush. Whereas this one by the dry bar is, it has vertical vents going in. The bristles feel very similar I can't tell the difference just yet. These are made with synthetic bristles. So the new dry bar brush comes with three settings as well. It comes with a three, I don't even know how to read this to be quite honest. Like the Revlon one actually says off, cool, low, high right on it. While this one just says off, has a snowflake, has um, a one fan setting and then a three fan setting. So there's no words, it's just pictures but they both turn on the same way, where you get the twist at the bottom. This one's a little harder than this one. Okay, so besides that, they both have the comb feature, the comb and bristle feature, but the major difference is the size along with the direction of the vents. So I guess we'll see. I don't know what this does now. It doesn't do anything. So what I'm going to do in comparison is I'm going to take my hair and split it right down the middle and do one side with my Revlon and one side with my dry bar. And I'm going to let you guys know my honest opinion. This is going to be my first impression on the dry bar. I already know how the Revlon one step works, but I'm going to compare the two and see if I notice any differences. Okay, parted down the middle. I'm just going to tie this side up clip it, tie it, whatever. My hair dries so fast, so it's already pretty dry. My ends are damp. I'm going to work myself from the bottom up.
far, this is what my hair looks like. It does have shine. I really love how much it smooths my hair, adds shine. The only thing I don't like is no matter how much I try to flip it, this is more of like a straight hair style. It's definitely not a like big bombshell blowout, but that's okay. So you guys can see my one side is done now with my Revlon. I will say the only thing is, and I've said this in my other video, is that I just don't personally like how it feels like it pulls on your hair. Like when I'm doing my blowout with it, I feel like it really tugs and pulls on my hair. Like even now, getting the whole comb through it, I feel like is oftentimes a struggle. I mean, it gets the job done and my hair is extremely, extremely shiny and really smooth so as to what the difference between the two brushes is going to be a part of me feels like there's going to be absolutely no difference um, I'm really curious because their price difference is pretty major so I'll let you guys know I'm gonna plug this one in and we're gonna start okay now that that section I'm going to start on this one piece I'm gonna brush through it first hmm it's pretty smooth it could also be because it's brand new and I haven't messed up the bristles yet, but we'll see. So far I've noticed a few things. The head is much smaller, so you do get a flip. I am also noticing a lot of static that I didn't get with this side. Like I didn't get the static feel that, you know? So, so far, that's what I'm noticing. My hair is still a little damp, which is interesting because the Revlon definitely dried my hair quicker. I will say I haven't noticed any hair pull out yet. So, let's continue. It's definitely taking me much longer to actually dry my hair. I don't know, guys. I don't know how I'm feeling about the dry bar. Like, you can see the shine in my hair on this side. Everything is really smooth and shiny. Whereas this side, I feel like my hair kind of lacks luster. And I'm getting a lot of these, like, flyaway static pieces, as you can see. Let's continue. I'll give you guys my overall opinion after. I will say one thing though. I definitely have a lot more volume on this side I'm noticing. Like this side feels very smooth and shiny but it almost lacks life, you know what I mean? Like my hair actually feels thicker and more voluminous on this side, although I am getting major static.
All right, guys, let's get into the pros and cons of each because now that my hair is done, I definitely have a few things to say about each, okay? And what's interesting is I never thought to have these opinions about the Revlon because I didn't know differently, you know? Like, I've only been using the Revlon One Step. So I'm going to talk about the pros of each and then I'm going to tell you guys the cons of each. So the pros that I find in the Revlon One Step Volumizer, the size is amazing. I feel like the size of the brush itself allows for quicker dry time and more surface area to be covered so I don't have to go in with so many passes. I do also like the way this feels going through the hair. Like I feel like the bristles on my hair are a lot more smooth and less rough. Like for example, when I was going in with the dry bar one, I felt like it was, I thought this pulled your hair. That I feel like is a little too aggressive on my head. Not that I'm tender headed by any means. It could also be because the bristles are brand new and I haven't just broken it in. You know, I don't remember how my Revlon felt because I've been using it for so long. But I definitely do feel a difference in the pull and the tug. So I'm definitely gonna count my blessings. I don't feel like this pulls as much as I thought it did. <laughs> this adds so much shine to the hair. Like if I show you my hair right now, look at the body and the shine that you see instantly on this side. Whereas I feel like, although my hair naturally is shiny, I, I do take care of my hair and um, I do use a lot of great conditioners on my hair. So you'll see the shine, but I definitely feel like this side lacks luster compared to this side correct me if i'm wrong um i can only really see what's in the mirror and the viewfinder but like this is the revlon side look at that shine that that shine is just amazing and then when you see the dry bar side although it is shiny i feel like it just lacks like i said that sealed luster you know what i mean with the revlon i'm going to say some of the cons this gets so freaking hot like this gets so incredibly hot that sometimes when i'm doing my own hair it becomes really frustrating because i go to grab my hair and it feels like it's burning off i know i can lower the fan setting but i wish there was a lower fan setting that changed the i wish it was a high fan and a lower heat because i feel like the the strength of the fan in this one is amazing and that that's what allows for my hair to dry much quicker but i don't think the heat setting has to be this hot I probably works great on super coarse and curly hair, which is probably why the heat setting is so hot. I think that's about it. I mean, this is great. Like I said, the price is a great price point. Now in comparison to the dry bar. So putting the two back to back, I did feel like this pulled and tugged at my hair. It took much longer for me to actually get the style that I wanted like I felt like I needed to go over it a few times and I felt like it wasn't drying my hair properly or not I don't want to say properly it's drying my hair but it wasn't drying my hair as efficiently I will say one thing though the plus of this dry bar brush that I find more than the Revlon and I don't know if you guys can see it but I can feel the difference I have a lot more volume and texture in this side like i don't feel like my hair is greasy does that make sense like this high shine almost feels like there's a seal on my hair and on my cuticle which is nice but i also feel like my hair gets really oily super fast when i use my revlon one step and i have to wash my hair like a day or two later whereas this doesn't feel like it i don't know it's so interesting like my hair just feels more textured and more coarse and just feels more voluminous on this side, you know? Yeah, my hair just feels so different. I don't know about you. If you have used both, please let me know your opinion in the comment section below. I just find that my hair, I actually like the way my hair feels more on this side with the dry bar as opposed to the Revlon. So I feel like these are also for two different candidates. I feel like due to the heat, of this brush itself i feel like this is great for anyone with super high texture to their hair super coarse curly i feel like someone who has more sleek hair more fine hair this is a great alternative for you i know the price points are a little different this also does not have boar bristles 
So for those of you who, for religious reasons, personal reasons, ethical reasons, don't want to go with the Revlon One Step because of the bristles, this is definitely a phenomenal alternative. You can barely tell the difference between the two. For me, they're minor differences in terms of texture and speed and efficacy, as opposed to just because of the bristles, you know? This was just more of a first impressions and initial comparison of the two. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this i'm gonna get ready go do my makeup and start my day but i wanted to kind of walk you guys through my first impression with the dry bar i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have not yet subscribed please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't seen my revlon one step volumizer and blow dryer video i will link that for you guys here i have a ton of hair videos you guys feel free and watch them a few makeup videos on their way thank you guys so much i hope you're home safe and really just taking this time out for yourself and being with your families, stay home is all I can say. Thanks guys. I'll see you next week.